Hello and welcome to PPG. In this video I want to show you how to use a Steam link to play Xbox One games on your mobile phone. So I'm going to start by launching Steam. And you want to go to controller settings and make sure your controller is connected and you've got Xbox configuration support. Then you go to base configurations and set the desktop configuration to gamepad with camera controls. There it is. Right, next, you want to download Input Mapper, and the link is in the description of the video. It's Input Ma Mapper 2 you want. I've already got it downloaded, but this is where you go. And now you launch that, and you want to download some plugins. On the left hand side, there's a plugin section, and you want to download 360 controller support, direct input controller support, mapping, profile loader, and the Scarlet Crush 360 virtual bus. You want to make sure that they're all enabled. And then you want to save and quit input mapper. And you next, you add it into the Steam library by adding it as a non Steam game. Now, I've already got it added, but this is what I would do if I was doing it. I would find it in here and I would go to add selected programs. Now, in big picture mode. go to launch input mapper 2 but first of all you want to make sure you manage the shortcut control of the configurations and put that as gamepad with camera controls the same as that we did for the desktop and when you launch it you should have a controller showing up if you go to mapping and give the thumbstick a well, you should see it move. Now I've already programmed mine, but what you need to do is very simple. You need to put the left stick of the input controller to match the left stick of the virtual output controller. There's my normal controller, click on mapping. It's very easy to do on the left stick. You click on an output device. In this case, it's the virtual bus, the Scarlet Crush one, and you click the left stick and you match all of them to the same controls. It's quite easy. And you do that all the way down. Then you minimize input mapper 2 and leave it running in the background. and you launch the Xbox One app. And now I made a previous video of how to show you to play Xbox One games through the Steam link. So you can refer back to that video, I'll leave a link in the description of this video. And just to check the controller's working. There you go. In the previous video, I never got the Steam controller to work with this, so this is a step forward. Now next, you wanna to go to Google and type in what is my IP? and write down the number it shows you at the top because that will be your external IP address then you go to your hub manager for your router and go to advanced settings you want to go to wherever your port forwarding is for me it's in the firewall section mostly probably the same and you want to add some port forwarding options I've already got mine added but this is what I did you add something like Steam Link select the computer you want to use and then you want to open ports from these numbers 27031 to 27036 
and you want to select UDP. Now if I put it, it already you add it to the list, but if I do it, it will say it's already there. Just double check everything, click it. Now, I've already got it added, but it would add it to the list if you did it. And then you click a second line and you would put some other ports in. You change that to 27036 on the first number and 27037 on the second number. But this time you want to put it in as TCP. There you go, and you add that. And then you'd save. Some older routers you might need to reboot. Now on your mobile phone, make sure you go to Bluetooth and you've got your Steam controller connected. You do that by holding down the Steam button and the Y button when you turn it on and then you connect it by Bluetooth. Go to the Play Store and download Steam Link Beta. Again, I've already got it installed, so I'm just going to open it. There we go, I'm connected. I've got my computer, a good connection, and the Steam controller is connected. What you might need to do to play it externally over you know, external Wi-Fi is you go to other computer. Then you put in the IP address which you noted down earlier. And now you've opened those ports, it will connect over the internet rather than over local network. Let's give it a whirl. There you go, this is now Steam running through my phone, which is a Samsung S7. If I go to launch, I need to launch iMapper from within the phone because last time I used it, the Steam controller was connected to the computer. So you need to refresh that to make sure it recognizes a different controller. Let's go to mapping and make sure it works. Give it a whirl. There you go. It's all working. There you go. So that launch the Xbox One app. Give it a wiggle, see if it responds. There you go. Now you can connect to your Xbox One via your phone. Turn that one on. There we go. I can go to stream. And there, I'm in. That's on my mobile phone via my computer from my Xbox One. And I don't even have to be on the same home network. I could be at work on Wi-Fi. And there you go. These graphics are actually transferred from my phone. So this is the actual same as my phone screen. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. And please subscribe to PPG.